Do you think three Michelin star plating is beyond you as a home cook? Do you need the skills of a professional chef to make beautiful food for your dinner party or a midweek meal? Well, think again. In the first part of this series of videos about plating like a pro at home, I'm gonna prove that you don't need a culinary degree to create visually stunning dishes if you follow these three simple yet powerful tips. While there are countless videos out there on YouTube about how to cook, I'm focusing on the often overlooked art of plating. We'll help you turn everyday meals into stunningly designed dishes using simple and effective plate design and food styling techniques that anyone can master. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Tom and I've been a professional food photographer for the past 10 years with a front row seat to some of the best chefs out there. I've seen how these wonderfully talented chefs go about their craft to create art when it comes to plating their dishes. I'm even gonna share a few cooking tips to enhance the look of your dishes in a subsequent video in this series, but the real focus will still be on the presentation. So if you've ever hosted a dinner party or intimate dinner for somebody special and really want to impress, then why not consider elevating the visual side of your dishes? Because as we all know, we eat with our eyes before anything else. So why not focus on that to complement and enhance the taste you've worked so hard on? Now I know this won't sound sexy, but the first of my tips is to plan ahead, prepare and organize. Begin by creating a relaxed and enjoyable atmosphere in your kitchen. Because let's be honest, things can usually get rather stressful when cooking at home, as we don't have a team of chefs working on the mise en place or on the perfect sauce. So organization and staying calm is essential. Get to your kitchen early, put on some music, perhaps pour yourself a cheeky drink and immerse yourself in the process. I'm gonna assume you've chosen your recipe, but have you given any thought to how it will be plated? If there's a photo with the recipe, then great. But don't let that stop you looking elsewhere. Social media is amazing for finding plate design inspiration. Once you've found something you like, or even a combination of design elements, make a sketch, as it will give you a much better idea of what it will look like in the real world, and you'll be able to identify any potential pitfalls of the cooking in advance. I have a complete video on why sketching is fundamental to good plate design that I'll link to here or in the description down below. Write down and understand every step of your recipe including the tools, utensils, and ingredients you'll need. List the ingredients in order, ensuring you don't miss anything crucial. This detailed plan will serve as your guide throughout the cooking process. Gather all the necessary kitchen tools, from the pots and pans to utensils to those often forgotten essentials like parchment paper or foil. If you're aiming for a more refined presentation, consider adding squeeze bottles for sauces and tweezers for delicate food placement to your collection. Make sure your tools are clean and in good working order, especially those knives. While ensuring the freshness of your ingredients is paramount, prepare as much in advance as possible. Chop vegetables, measure out spices, even prepare sauces or marinades that can be stored in the fridge. Keep that final presentation in mind, hence why a sketch is a good idea as you prepare each element. As in professional kitchens, an organized kitchen fosters a more efficient and enjoyable cooking experience. Arrange your ingredients and tools in a logical order and make sure that your workspace is clean and clutter free. I know it's boring, but washing and putting away items as you finish with them helps maintain focus and prevent those last minute scramblings for a needed tool or space. If you sometimes feel that you're guilty of just throwing your mise en place onto the plate with no thought, then why not download my Plate Like a Pro guide from the description below. It's a great place to start being more intentional with your presentations. It's completely free, so if you find any value in it, then a like to this video or subscribing to the channel would be really appreciated. It will certainly help this channel to grow and to get this video seen by more passionate platists on YouTube. Once you've got your plan, you'll need to consider the foundation of the design, and by that I mean the plate. Now I fully accept that most of us don't have too many options just lying around the house. And like the best restaurants who have a significant budget for these things and can have various options of tableware depending on the style, season, or even the purpose of the dish. But the plate you choose plays a vital role in the overall presentation and can elevate your dish from ordinary to extraordinary. In my experience, most chefs tend to favor the classic white plate for its ability to highlight colors and textures of your food. It's like a clean backdrop that allows colors to pop and your texture to contrast and showcase your precision. But don't feel limited. Many neutral tones or other light colored dishes also work beautifully. However, be mindful of plates with bold patterns and colors as they compete with your food for attention. As you gain more confidence, why not explore darker plates to create striking contrasts and add a touch of drama? But the size and shape matters too. A plate that's too large can make your portions look meager, while a plate too small can make it feel overcrowded. Aim for a balance where your food fills most of the plate, leaving a little bit of breathing room around the edge. Visualize the rim of the plate as a frame, showcasing your culinary artwork within. Oh, and to be practical for a moment, don't forget about one of the primary jobs for the plate, that of temperature. For cold dishes, chill your plates beforehand to maintain freshness and to prevent melting. Conversely, warm plates are essential for serving hot food 
ensuring it stays the perfect temperature for longer. Remember, the right plate enhances the visual appeal, but also has a functional and practical influence on your diner. It's about creating harmony between your food and its presentation. So choose wisely and let your plates become an integral part of your storytelling. There's a reason why it looks effortlessly easy for experienced chefs to plate stunning food. One reason is clearly many years of blood, sweat, tears, and an awful lot of practice, but also using the right tools to help them get the best results. Just like a master portrait painter won't use a massive house painter's brush, the right plating tools can make the difference when it comes to actually putting your mise en place onto the plate. Again, I have a whole video about what's in the chef's toolkit and why. If you want more of that, check out the details below. But for now, let's explore some of the basic essentials that will help you achieve professional looking results. These are your precision instruments. Whether it's carefully placing delicate microgreens or adjusting a tiny piece of food, tweezers and tongs give you control to create your ideal presentations. Sauces and liquids can transform a dish, but only when applied with finesse. Enter the precision spoon. Its unique design allows for controlled drizzles and artful swirls, adding a touch of elegance to your plate. These unsung heroes add pops of color and texture. Finely great, vibrant vegetables like carrots and radishes to create beautiful garnishes or to add finishing touches to your dishes. Fill them with sauces, oils, or even purees to create stunning designs and patterns on your plate. Swirls, dots, and artistic flourishes are just a squeeze away. Want to add intricate details or precise lines? Decorating brushes are your answers. Use them to create delicate patterns with sauces, dust plates with cocoa powder, or even paint edible designs on cakes. Ever wondered how restaurants achieve those perfectly shaped portions? Molds are the secret. Use them to create uniform shapes with rice, mashed potato, or even desserts. These handy tools create professional looking streaks and patterns with sauces and purees. You can experiment with different shapes and sizes to achieve a variety of effects. But out of all of this equipment, it's the humble spoon and the squeeze bottle that should have the biggest effect on your ability to plate. And the good news is, most of us have plenty of spoons tucked away in a kitchen drawer and perhaps a quick and inexpensive purchase on Amazon for a squeeze bottle or two will elevate your ability to plate with skill, precision and accuracy to make even the best Michelin star chefs jealous. So there you have it, three simple yet incredibly powerful tips to transform your home cooking into a visual feast. Remember, beautiful plating is all about intention, preparation and having the right tools at your disposal. It's about showcasing your culinary creations in a way that is as pleasing to the eye as it is to the palate. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, this is only the beginning. In my next video, which you can click on here once it's released, I'm going to delve deeper into the art of plating, exploring the magic of colour, composition and layering your dishes at home. Plus, we'll uncover how different cooking techniques can dramatically increase the visual appeal of your dishes and help you plate like a pro at home, and then create stunning presentations that will leave your guests in awe.